an amniotic graft application for a diabetic foot wound. Let's see if we can get a better look here. On the uh, medial side, this wound has been present for about three or four weeks. Started as a big abscess that we had to uh, drain. Now the infection and everything's under control. We're going to uh, get this all cleaned up. Come pour this down for me, shall we? No, no. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. So the first thing we have to do is to breed the wound. This is really a lot of uh, callus rim hyperkeratosis around the wound. Some fibrosis on top. So we need to clean that all off, sharply to breed it, to uh, prep the wound for the graft. Alcohol here. Dr. Breedman is fine for this. This wound was making progress and it's not often after they get to this point for them to stall a little bit. So we're applying this amniotic graft to help jump start the healing process. The amniotic graft comes from donated placenta, human placenta that goes through a very rigorous uh, cleaning and sterilizing process and separating process to get the right tissues that we want for the particular type of wound. As you can see, I'm getting rid of all this callus tissue, this hyperkeratotic skin here. If you don't debride all of these tissues off, all of these tissues that get in the way of the healing process, it slows everything down and they will be an impediment to the action of the graft. Okay, get another 15. See, the, I don't know if you can see close enough. The, the wound is getting a little more pink around the edges. Can you zoom in? If you can. And a little bit more. Zoom in a little bit more. Now you got to point down. There we go. Okay. I'm doing all this on the outside. I didn't know the alcohol went as well, please. So we're making good progress here. You can see that the rim is now nice and pink, showing good blood flow to the skin. Now that I've got the edge of the wound to breed it to my liking, I will work on the center of the wound. I'm going to change blades here. Okay. We said, go over there. Mm -hmm. Click view, see if there's any questions. And turn it so you can see it. What did you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Turn it. Yeah, there we go. Turn it. That's it. Good. Want me to turn it? No, yeah, no. Now set it up so we can see. No, I don't need any sound. Yeah, I was going to turn it down. Yeah, there we go. 
wound? Yes, it's a diabetic foot wound. You, just leave, you don't have to hold. There you go. You see yeah. Okay. So now what I'm doing is taking off this fibro fibrotic tissue, all this yellow stuff that impedes the progress of the wound. As you can see now that the yellow fibrotic tissue is off, see a nice red base of the wound. That's what you want before you apply any graft. If you don't have that, the graft doesn't have a good surface in order to adhere, so it will not work. So whenever you're debriding the wound, you should not be alarmed by seeing any bleeding. A bleeding wound is a healthy wound. A bleeding wound can heal. A wound that doesn't bleed has a lower chance of healing. I think that's yeah, I don't speak Russian. My Russian's not that good. granulation tissue there. Nice bleeding. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the edges down a little more. It's a little bit thick, thick for my liking. You want the edges of the wound to be even or level with the surface of the wound. Skin will not grow uphill or downhill, only straight across. That's a pretty wound right there. I need to take another picture here shortly, shall I? Um, my phone? Yeah, can't use mine. Mine is rolling right now. Oh, I have a little phone with the iPhone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this sharp surgical debridement. Very successful here. I'm gonna get a, a little bit more at this point. You can come around my back here, take the picture. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Make sure you get the same. There we go. Go. Thank you. So I always like to take photos of the process stage by stage. Now you can see how much different the wound looks than when we first started. Now, this is what you call a good wound bed preparation. Now we're... Okay, now, <coughs> do a little uh, spray there, please. Yes, sir. There you go. Thank you. A little wound cleanser. Get everything ready. Now what I'm going to do for a minute is to a little direct pressure to stop the bleeding. We lost our size. Sorry, sorry. We lost our size and come in a little bit more. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So, see, we debrided the. Callus rim of the wound, got rid of the fibrotic uh, scar like tissue over top of the wound. We've got a nice bleeding granulation bed here, which is ready for the graft. All right.
right, while we're getting uh, some hemostasis, getting the blood to stop flowing, we'll prepare our graft. Okay, um, hold that up. So what we're applying here today is the Woundex uh, membrane, which is uh, amniotic tissue, human donated amniotic tissue. It's very good for advanced wound healing. Inside the package comes sterile. This is what it looks like. <coughs> I don't know if you can really see it. Kind of hard to see there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see inside the plastic. Go ahead and open it up. We'll get a better look. There it is. There it is. All right, so that's the grafters. There we're using a two centimeter by two centimeter graft here today. Four or a half? Just let me have that first. Okay. And then uh, prepare the uh, adapter touch. I don't need it to be that big. Yeah, I saw it. About half of that size. Too. Come sterilize. Okay. Save that because we might need the sticker. All right, so. And then there's a, a better look at the graph with that little square on the inside. Hopefully you can make that out. The worst part of this is getting this inside one open. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So this is it here. Processed amniotic tissue, human amniotic tissue. It contains uh, growth factors, different types of collagen to help improve and speed up the healing process of this wound. And having a little blood is, is good because it helps the graft to stick. So I'll just put it right on the wound. There we go. And that's it. That's the process in a nutshell. See that the graft is now got good adherence to the wound bed. Alright, so what I like to do next is put a non-stick gauze directly over a graft. And I'm going to use Adaptic Plus in this case. Right here, that keeps everything in place. Now inside I need some tape. Tape there on the side. Just to hold everything down. Tape or Three strips. Wait. Here we go. Now, pause. Take two, one, fold it. Now the stressing is not to be removed for a week. The patient will come back next week. And we will change the dressing. It's gonna to be too thick, so I'll just double this one here. Need a little ointment for the spot right there. Thank you. That's it. Dress, her no dressing changes for this at home. The patient keeps it clean, keeps it dry. And doesn't have to worry about having to really monitor the dressing. Now, I would always tell patients that if something should happen to the dressing, say it gets 
dirty or wet or something happens. Take the outer dressings off, but do not remove the adapter, that non-stick that's held down on the skin with tape. That stays in place. That's it. Doesn't take very long. Don't have to worry about any donor site from the patient in this case. And it's a pretty simple application. So, uh, if you have any questions, again, I'm Dr. Jefferson. It's my assistant over here, Sade, for the day. And we'll see you guys next week.